The Cookie Counters Airbrush Gun Cleaning Kit is a must-have set of tools for maintaining and repairing your airbrush gun. Along with a set of easy-to-follow instructions and a resealable storage pouch, you will receive three different types of tools to keep your airbrush gun running smoothly and spraying cleanly. The first tool is a set of five needle files in varying diameters. You also receive a set of five mini bristled cleaning brushes, perfect for cleaning out your gun's color cup. Finally, an ultra-fine point needle pick can make clearing a clogged nozzle a breeze with its half-circular design meant to help sweep out any debris. In order to fully disassemble your airbrush gun, first you will need to retrieve the mini wrench that came with your airbrush system. This should fit perfectly around the beveled edge of the nozzle. First, detach the hose and remove the back cover of your gun. Unscrew and remove the needle chucking nut, which holds the needle in place. Remove the front needle and nozzle caps, exposing the nozzle of the gun. Gently use your wrench to loosen the nozzle, being very careful not to drop it. This piece is tiny and can easily be lost if dropped. Once loosened, use your fingertips to remove the nozzle and place it someplace safe. Gently push your needle through the body of the gun from back to front and remove. At this point, you can use your mini bristled cleaning brushes to clean inside the color cup. The brushes are flexible and can easily clean tiny areas that normal cleaning brushes can't get into. To clear debris from a clogged nozzle, hold the nozzle in your non-dominant hand and carefully insert the sharp end of the needle pick into the base of the nozzle, rotating to clean out anything that might be creating a clog. Any debris should be caught on the flat side of the pick as it is rotated. Wipe clean and repeat as necessary. To further disassemble your gun, fully unscrew the lever tension adjuster by twisting counterclockwise. Remove this piece and also remove the needle chucking guide and the lever tension adjuster. Pull firmly upwards on the lever to remove it. To clean out any residue that may have built up inside your gun, find the appropriate size needle file and feed it through the body of the gun exactly where the needle would ordinarily be. Wipe the file clean and repeat as needed. Now that all of the pieces of your gun are clean, it's time to reassemble. First, gently thread the nozzle onto the front of the gun with your fingertips. Once the nozzle is loosely in place, use your wrench to gently tighten it, being careful not to over tighten. Replace your protective needle and nozzle caps. At this point, we will reattach the operation lever, making sure the grooved ridges face toward the front of the gun. The gold toggle at the bottom of the lever will feed through a small hole inside the gun, which you can see here. The trickiest part is keeping that toggle straight so that you can then press firmly down on the lever and pop it into place. Holding the lever in place with your non-dominant hand, insert the lever guide and needle chucking guide into the barrel of the gun. The lever guide will pop up through the opening on top of the gun. You can use the lever itself to hold the guide in place while you then reattach the lever tension adjuster. At this point, the lever should pop back into place when toggled. Carefully reinsert your needle, making sure to push it all the way forward. Screw on the needle chucking nut to hold the needle in place, and then reattach the back cover. Your airbrush gun should now be clean and ready for use.